The horizontal and vertical mattress sutures are very useful to reduce tension in a flap. So say these flaps are you know, having a hard time coming together. You see it's going to take some tension to hold them or there's going to be muscle pull. Well, then you want horizontal mattresses to help reduce the tension at the edge. What we do is we first start a little distal, make a full pass of the needle through the tissue. Regroup the needle, and now we'll come back. The first pass was buckle to lingual. Now we'll come back lingual to buckle. Not only does this help reduce tension, but it also pushes the, the tissue more coronal. This is, I really like to do this around healing abutments because you get, especially if you have good keratinized tissue around, it forms a really nice seal for them. So there we go. We tie it. There's our horizontal mattress. You want to be careful not to tie these too tight. Put too much tension on this knot because then because it's horizontal and pushing together, it can choke the blood supply of the base of these flaps, from the base of the flaps. So we don't want that. In areas where we're concerned about blood supply being choked and say a delicate area like a papilla that you wanna to bring together not too much tension and bring up, well then we can modify, and instead of going doing a horizontal mattress, we can do a vertical mattress. In that case, instead of a distal pass and then a mesial pass, we're gonna have an apical pass and a more coronal pass. So we'll demonstrate that here. Here's our apical pass. Coming through. And our more coronal pass through the tissues. Let's bring that through, good. And then we tie off. Good, good, good. Alrighty. So you can see they almost look the same just because the knot is external and all these threads are internal, but it can make a difference. So it's good to know both ways.